who I am. How did I become the person I am today? Was it because I had a life-changing experience? Did I have a certain mentor? Or maybe I just had a huge epiphany? Many factors contribute to the creation of my mindset. These factors made my views, ideas, passions, etc. So what am I truly passionate about? One of my several passions has always been music. My love for music came to be thanks to these things. My family and my old school influenced me so much. The praise towards these, the people in my life is absolutely never ending. Family is something very significant to me. It always has been. They have done so much for me that I could never repay their generosity. My mother has been my light throughout life. I always go to her when I am in need and she always gives me aid no matter what. She has been the most important figure in life for me. She has been a role model, a hard worker, and a loving mother all in one. I honestly don't deserve her in any way whatsoever. My father has been more behind the scenes, but still I am grateful as ever. My father works so hard every day at his business. He is only supposed to work six days a week, and sometimes he works on Sunday, his day off. He works so hard just to provide enough money for my family to meet our needs and luxury. I can go to McCarthy thanks to him because he's the one that pays the tuition needed. My family overall has taught me so many things useful for life. My grandparents have handed down their words of wisdom, while my cousins and brother give me tidbits of advice. Family molds you into the person you can offer to the world. I went to my old school for 10 years. These 10 years shaped me into the young woman seen here today. Old friends have provided me with beautiful but tough lessons. I've had friends that show me how to be a better person and how to act like. Then I've had friends where I know to avoid their kind in the future. No matter how hospitable they were, friends come and go for different purposes. Life lessons are learned in any way possible. My teachers have basically handmade my brain into something with a decent IQ. My brain was clay, and they sculpted it into an intelligent, functioning mind. They formed my mind to go beyond my years. My mind has always been different than everyone else. On the last day of seventh grade, my former religion teacher pulled my mother aside. He had a conversation with her, then she called me over and we started to walk out of school. I asked her what they had talked about. She told me that he said my mind works differently than how the other students' minds work. That still remains in my memory to this day. That school, Immaculate Conception, made me who I am today. Everything I am academically and thoughtfully is because of my wonderful old school. I know that I'll never be able to pursue music as a career thanks to my past experiences. However, my passion for it has never wavered. My family and my former school helped me find my love and taste for music. Whenever I get a headache, I just pop in my earphones and the pain melts away. Music is great medication if you can't get real drugs. I used to do voice, but my teacher said I had to change the way I was in order to be a singer. I couldn't be loud and talkative, which was part of my nature. There are Grammy-winning artists that drink and party all the time. I can be any way I want, no matter what anyone tells me. Anyways, music has stayed a true love of mine. It will always help me through tough times. Music has assisted my life in so many ways that it's practically countless. I will never stop loving the art that is music. Immaculate and my family is the reason I am who I am today. Without them, I'd be nothing but a brainless shell of a human. Frank Ocean once said, we met for a reason. You're either a blessing or a lesson.